Well, bless the Lord. I greet you with Jesus' joy today. I am Pastor Lonnie. Welcome to Walking Through the 49 Commands of Christ with Pastor Lonnie. Amen. And I am so glad that you are back here with me today. Today we are on command number 31. Beware of covetous, covetous covetousness. Amen. Try to say that fast five times. And our scripture will come from Luke 15. And Jesus said to them, take care and be on your guard against all covetousness. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. Amen. Covetous, covetousness, amen, is a greedy desire to have more. Amen. It's an inord, inordinately or wrongly desire, desire for wealth or possessions, um, to desire it wrongfully or without due regard for the rights of others. That means you get it any way. You're willing to do anything at any cost. Amen. And so um, it is also, you know, a, a strong desire to have something that belongs to something else. And covetous, covetousness is not, um, it doesn't show a grateful spirit to God. In fact, it's actually an insult to God. When we say, you know, when we desire something that someone else has more um, than what we already have, when we are looking to get things that other people have, it says to God that we're not grateful for what he's given us, that we don't appreciate, that he hasn't done enough. Now, I know, I hear it all the time, and I say it too, if he never did another thing, he's done enough. And so our coveted, our coveted, covetousness, amen, says to God, you know, you, you, what you doing for me is not enough or you, um, or you giving me the wrong thing or imagine that, imagine you give something to your kids, you know, you give each of your kids something and I'm sure as parents, many of us have experienced this, you give each of your kids something and the, and the kid looks over and says, but I want that one. What do you mean? You're not grateful for what I just gave you for what? That's what covetousness says to God. It says that we're not grateful that the, for the blessings that he's already given us and the things um, th that he's already done. We have to trust that what God has for you is for you. What he has for me is for me. I don't want anything that anybody else has. And let me tell you something. Please know I have to say this in going through these commands because many times we get caught up. You are not responsible for your first thought. Your first thought is a seed. It is a thought. It comes, it either comes from the spirit or it comes from the enemy. And it's our responsibility to discern that thought, to decipher that thought. And when we recognize that that thought is out of the will of God or it is against something from God, now it is our responsibility. We are responsibility for our second thought. Amen. For that follow-up thought and what we follow through to do. So that first thought is a seed. Thoughts come. They come to you, you cannot stop them, but you have control over the choice that you make behind it. You have you have control over the next um, thought that you allow to take root following that. Amen. So we have to make sure that, you know, because we'll see something and we'll say, it's not, oh, I want that or, you know, things of that nature. We just have to make sure that we, you know, when we do that, we shouldn't be doing it. But if we do, you know, I find myself there many times that I do something that is against the the, the word of God or unsubconsciously not, you know, I'm not thinking about it. And then when I realize what it is now, we do what um, uh, um, Second Corinthians tell us. It says, take every thought into captivity and cast down that imagination. Amen. And you use the word of God to do that. So you just don't throw the imagination like, get out of here. I'm done with you. No, you find a word in the word of God that stands up against that contrary thought so that it can be brought down, it could be shut down, amen? And so the Bible tells us um, in 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 16 through 18, to rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God concerning you in Jesus Christ. Amen. God wants us to be joyful. He wants us to, to give thanks for everything that we know 
that we appreciate what he's doing for us and what he's given us. Philippians 4 verses 11 through 12. We went through this the other day. Paul says it, not that I speak out of, out of need or out of want, but I've learned to be content in whatever state that I'm in, whatever circumstance I have. I know how to get along with a little bit and I know how to live in prosperity. I know um, in every situation, I've learned the secret to being filled and going hungry. Amen. Both have an abundance and both suffering need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. What's the secret? The secret is that we're hidden in him, that we are grateful at all times for everything that he's done for us. If we remain with a grateful heart for the things that God has already done, amen, we, we wouldn't covet anything else because we would know that his great mercy, his great grace, his great love, his patience is all with us. Amen. And 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 he things will come in their time to everything there's a season. And so maybe because somebody else got something um, you were both looking for at the same time, and maybe they got theirs first. If they got theirs first, that's fine. Know that yours is going to come in its due time. Um, uh, I always say to God, you know, I want what you want for me. Never mind what I want. It, no matter how bad I want it, if it's not what you want for me, God, I don't want it. All I want is what you have for me. I don't want to covet anybody else. I just want what's mine. Amen. And I'm so, 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 so grateful um, that, you know, he blesses me. And there are things and there are sometimes, man, my pastor left us with a cliffhanger today um, in our intercessors class that sometimes we don't get stuff because there are legal, like spiritual legalities hanging around over the atmosphere that have not been met. Man, I had to go back and start saying, oh God, now God, show me if I have any illegal, you know, the illegal activity, um, if it's something that's hindering or tying up my blessings because I don't want to miss the blessings of God. Amen. And I don't want nobody else's blessings. And I just want mine. Psalm 84 verse 11 says, for the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord gives grace and glory. He withholds no good thing from those who walk in integrity. You know who those that are walking in integrity? Those of you who are listening and following through and trying your best, amen, to, 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 to walk out these 49 commands of Jesus Christ. That is integrity. Amen. And so he will withhold no good thing from you. Continue to seek his face, not just his hand. Seek his face. Seek his heart. Amen. And his hand will come. So we won't have to want anything that anybody else has. And then the last scripture that I'm going to leave you with, one of my absolute favorites is Psalm 37 verse 4. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Listen. Listen. You want to have what God ha uh, has for you? Do you want blessings that no man can take away from you? Delight yourself in the Lord. Walk in his commands. Find the things of God um, that bring you joy and that bring you pleasure um, as you walk in your purpose and fulfill your assignment. And he will give you the desires of your heart. Why? Because you are desiring what he desires for you, amen? And what he desires for you is the best of the best, amen? And so, you know, he's on that... Um Tesla, uh, uh, Dom Perignon, um, uh, uh, even bigger than that. Listen, I don't, I don't know much about all of that stuff because I, I, I'm trying to live real simply. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and um, but you know, think of those elaborate and expensive, and that's what our God is. And those are the things, those are the blessings on that level that he wants to give his kingdom. It gives God no glory for his people to be lacking or to look pitiful or, you know, be down and out. Amen. So don't covet what anybody else has. What God has is for you. And in its due time, it will be yours. Just line yourself up in the word and the will of God and the blessings will come to pass. I'm so glad to share these commands with you. And I promise you guys, I'm having such a great time um, doing them. And um, God is really blessing me. So do what we do.
One of you tag 49 people, 49 of you tag one person or shoot, why not everybody just hit the share button? Amen. And we can get these commands out and we can all begin to walk in the joy and in the commands and in, in the love of God that will uh, make the kingdom of God explode. Amen. And people will be desiring to get in. They will be dying to get in, literally dying to self. Amen. To live in the spirit. And so I thank you so much for taking the time to listen um, and to keep up. I pray that you guys um, are being blessed by them. Uh, and uh, check out my YouTube page, Pastor Lonnie, uh, and go on and subscribe. And uh, check out my website, faithatllc.com, and check out my blog. And of course, my book, The Possibilities of God, 21 Days of Faith Devotional. Um, and it's all about faith. Every page is about faith. You get a scripture, you get an encouraging word, you get a declaration for the day, and, um, and a prayer to pray, amen, over 21 days to build your faith um, and your trust in God. And so I pray that um, I am fulfilling my assignment to the Lord. I love you guys. And I just want to pray with you before we get off. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you, oh God. We pray for every ear that has heard, oh God, and every heart that has received. Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that there's anyone out there who does not know you and a pardoning of your sins, but say, I want to know this God that she keeps talking about. Lord, I pray that you would captivate their hearts, Father, in the name of Jesus and save their souls. Lord, I ask that as we go about our day today, that you would keep uh, protecting angels around us, oh God, to keep us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. Protect our families, our children, oh God, as we prepare to go out on the job, go before us and set the atmosphere, oh God. Hallelujah, that makes serving you easy, Lord. Give us patience and love and joy with those that we encounter, no matter what they're dealing with, oh God. Let your love and your light shine through so that you might get the glory. I thank you and I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have an amazing day. And remember, when it looks like everything else is failing, grab a hold on to your faith and keep on faith in it. Be blessed.